thesmartlocal.com Plot twist. I'm here as a singer. Chocolate grenade. I'm Xenia and welcome to another episode of Hyatt or Fired. And in this episode, I'm going to be a baker for a day. I remember after A-levels where you have that 8 months break, I was baking a lot. And a few things that I really enjoy baking is Popeye's biscuits, cupcakes, Oreo cheesecake, you name it, I probably have baked it and failed it. <laughs> Honestly, I think baking is harder than cooking because it's not that instinctive. And also, you can't try it. The worst is if you're doing it for business, only your customer can taste it because the cake has to look nice, right? You won't know you mess up until spending your whole day doing it and then you'll be angry at yourself. And I've been through that so many times that I don't want to feel that today. I expect a lot from myself today because it is like a teenage dream of mine to hone my baking skills under the guidance of a baker. I better remember the instructions because I ever put salt instead of sugar. Not cool. <laughs> today will be good. Baker Tan is here. Christy. I'm the operation manager of GNC Bakery. I handle everything from R&D to baking and running sales as well as managing customer relationships. My dad started working with my grandparents during his youngest days in the curry puff food business. Out of curiosity, he started out GNC Bakery since 1983. As for now, we have three outlets. We specialize in making pineapple tarts as well as banana cakes. Before working for my family business, I was working in hotels. Over there, we have to always follow others recipe but coming back to my family business I can explore more ideas people tend to think that baker's life are like easy life but actually that's not the case the time you have to sacrifice sometimes we take up to 14 hours just to bake something hello I'm Xenia hi I'm Christy I'm your mentor for today I am so excited for this episode because I always bake at home oh. but at home ah, okay. ah. <laughs> so what will I be doing today so today you'll be baking a cookie and then you'll be serving customers okay. as well as you'll be making a cake from scratch for our customer today. Hmm. Whose birthday is that? Xenia is ready to bake for you. <laughs> so this is for you. Oh, you know what they say, Baker Tan is here! <laughs> huh? Check my cookie? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Zinia, this is the kitchen. Mm. This is where we bake everything that you can see outside. Okay. Your first task for today will be baking butter cookies with deep chocolate. Chocolate ganache! Let's go! This is actually part of the R&D for now. Let's get started. So, we will measure out the butter and the icing sugar first. Then we will cream them together. So, remember to always tar your mixer uh, okay. so that it gets the correct measurement. Whisk it till it's soft. Then we'll measure out the icing sugar. Measure the egg whites. Egg white only? Mm, egg white only. What, what happens if it breaks? It won't let it rise because egg white is like meringue. Then it might not like be very fluffy. Right. Very, mm. So this is the vanilla extract. We'll just put a little bit like a okay. drop. Whoa! Then I will woe ni. Woe ni. Okay, so once it gets so fluffy, yeah. we'll add the flour in. Wow, it's really coming together eh. The textures, right? When you see it from the start, it's so different from right now. Now on to the exciting part and that's piping. Yeah, so you just gotta do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a bit hard. Yeah. Oh my I'm god. Well, not or This expectation right in front of me eh. No, no. Not bad. Huh? Okay. Oh, your shit. Ayo! <laughs> and we're gonna do special one like <sighs> Infinity HOF Forever Season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll put it as 8 minutes first. Oh, 8 minutes only? We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Oh, I wish you can smell this, man. Ah! Careful, ah. Okay. Can I try one? Oh my god, it's freaking amazing. 
You like it? Yeah. So now the cookies are done. This is easy la. You just did however much you want. Wow. Ta-da. Okay, let me try one. Oh. <laughs> it's so it's so fragile. So we just finished the basic butter cookie. Mm. So your challenge will be making your own version of butter cookies. So I'll be providing you with other ingredients. You can add anything you want inside. Anything. Anything. However much I want. Oh, do it. Then after that, you'll name it and then sell it to me as a customer. Oh, All that's right. what I'm best at. Passionate love. Yun Yang special. Okay, Baker Tan will start baking her butter cookies. I just cut through the plastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Zero grams. Then we are gonna whisk it. Too fast. And we will measure icing sugar. It's really coming together as one. And they look beautiful. Just it's like snowing her. <laughs> Oops. Only it white. Like that. Okay, wait, haven't break yet, haven't break yet, ah. Huh? Oh! It went in. No problem. Put this inside. <gasps> Along with the vanilla extract. La is a uh, 160. What's that going to do with my nose pair? Oh no, don't need. Done. Take this out. Okay, never mind. It, it don't want to come out, it's okay also. Ah, then you do this. Tak, tak, tak. <laughs> now. Eh? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay, never mind. Just gonna <laughs> separate from here then. So now we are gonna pipe. I'm gonna go with this and chocolate chip, but separate. So one is with walnut, and I'll call it hit you in the nut. Because when you eat, they're like, oh, so nice. It hits you. I got you in the baking tray. Oh, okay. Thank you. I wanna put the nuts inside the batter. Yeah, that's exactly how much I wanted. Hit you in. So, it hits you in the nut. <laughs> Before it can hit you in the nut, it hit me in the nut first. Because I put the nut inside, and the nut is bigger right. than the nose. <laughs> Let's pick like the. Okay, this one got bigger hole, right? Hit you in the. There it! When you there try it. best, but you don't succeed. <laughs> hit you in the nut. Yeah! <laughs> can I just pipe like that? <laughs> Okay what? Okay what? The Chinese New Year, the cookie look like that what? So I'm gonna call this Michael Jackson. I'm gonna top half the cookie with the chocolate and half without. Much, much, much later. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the inner monologue is real ah. Everybody's starting to say out already ah. Ah, you Sorry, sorry. Very <sighs> <Very> hot. <laughs> So complain, so complain. Where my English go in the oven also? <laughs> scared, 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 scared. I'm gonna make the hit you in the nut cookie look very expensive. Does it look expensive? Next, we are gonna draw a straight line for my Michael Jackson cookies. Then I'm just gonna zigzag the chocolate part. And we are done! So let me explain to you my creation. This is called Hit You In The Nut. It is a walnut cookie disguised as a pumpkin seed cookie dribbled with chocolate. It sounds like a lot, I know. It is a lot. It's good, it's good. Mm. Yeah, you brought out the walnut, the aroma of the walnut, mm. you know? But it's kind of like a walnut cookie, not a butter cookie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe I should put less up. Yeah, yeah. Next, I would like to introduce you to the Michael Jackson cookie. Half of it is filled with chocolate, the other one is a classic butter cookie. Mmm! I think this is better. Would you sell this to your customer? I might sell this. <gasps> or not this. How, how much would you pay if, say, you are the customer? Two dollars. For a box? A, a piece, lah. Per piece? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Hire a real. And go home real. Still early, still early. <laughs> <laughs> now your second task for today will be baking a cake. We'll be making a black forest cake. Mm. Then after that, you will do it for our customer. Huh? Yeah? Customer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So 
now we will just take a bit of the cream, put it on the board okay. so that it doesn't move. For our cake, we will use hazelnut cream mm. instead of the regular cream with berries, you know, yeah. with cherries and all. I know people are like you are like chocolate lovers. lovers. Yeah. Then secondly, we will add our homemade chocolate ganache. Oh my god, just the ganache itself? Wow! Yum! So you keep this in the fridge and now it's Martin. Welcome to Xenia's cooking show. And I'm gonna start, this time I'm really gonna focus. I'm not gonna entertain you guys, okay? Three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tiring! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so tired. <laughs> so my baby is done. Wow, it's a hot. <laughs> One, two. Whoa. One, two. Okay, we're gonna put the frosting, don't complain so much. Yeah, I think the customer will like chocolate hazelnut chocolate. You say chocolate hazelnut chocolate. Okay, chocolate. Oh my god, it's so smooth and rich. Just a bit more here. Okay, just a bit more then. Just a little bit more. Oh yo, why my cake? Is my cake slanted? My goodness, this is a disaster. <sighs> Did Christy just give up on me? <laughs> okay, Zina, for your cake today, I think you did not bad. Overall, the process, you know, even though you were like very tired, you know, but you continue doing, so I admire you for that. The cake-wise, appearance, very good for the first time. Wow, so nice. Uh. I actually think my cake looks like shit. Because like, it is so slanted. And if you can see like right on the top, right, hers is smooth. Mine is like... Their edges, their bubbles, even simple piping. Like yours looks so much better. I realized I made mistakes, they are very technical. For example, over beating the cream frosting. When I put it over my head, correct one, well, I never fall off, so I thought like it was right. But timing is very important. And I think you need a certain level of expertise to be able to see what is really perfect, what is overdone, what is underdone. So do you think we can sell this to the customer? Yours? <laughs> hey, don't need to be so shocked. Ah. I know mine are very nice, right? I think you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> Later, when the birthday boy comes, see what they say. So, Zinia, now we are moving to the third task for the day. Mm. So, now I'll be showing you how to use the POS. Later on, I will show you the items we have in store. Okay. As well as let you know what are the questions that some of our customers ask us. We have six or seven categories. Whatever the customer asks, like one piece, six piece, ten mm. piece, you know. Easy. So, these yes. are the cakes that we have. We deliver them every morning, very fresh. There's butter based, banana based, as well as chocolate based. So, some questions that customers ask is how long we can keep the pastries for. Mm. So, for cakes, right, usually we tell them one to two days. Okay. And then for durian, must remember to let them know that it can only be outside two hours. Mm. Anything longer, the durian will spoil because we use wow. fresh durian. You got any question, you can test me. Can I test think me. I know everything. One to two days, yeah, one to two days. Then, two hours durian. Then, this can keep inside the fridge for how long? I think I know everything. <laughs> three days. Three, three days. days. The safe answer is three days. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Our best sellers are eclairs and brownies. Uh, brownie, uh, the white one or the... Yeah, the white one. One white one. Yeah, okay. okay. You want some fresh cakes? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is on the on the cake. Total will be eleven fifty. Then I'll press next. Ta da! Give him the receipt. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Good day. So what? What's the the chocolate cheese, walnut, and the normal chocolate. Oh, no, no white chocolate. No white. Yeah, no white. This one, uh, mm. it's just one type, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I just get the white chocolate. The 24 piece? Yes. Okay. Total will be 26.50. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. Twelve pieces, huh? Oh, you can mix any that you want. You want two of each type, huh? Okay. You got any flavor you like in particular? The almond chocolate chip, huh? Okay. Thank you. Ten dollars. Oh, it's my first day of work. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, excuse me. Yes, cream puff is cream. Custard puff is slightly eggier. So no egg in cream? Because I'm a bit allergic to egg yolk. Then you eat brownie yolk. Brownie got no egg? Yolk? Got egg. <laughs> then you don't eat brownie yolk. How much should I eat? Um, opposite got takoyaki. <laughs> but actually I'm here to pick up my cake. I actually ordered a birthday cake. A black oh. forest birthday cake. Hi, really you are? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, oh, now go grab your cake. You can wait here. Okay. Yeah. So, no, wait, the customer is her? <laughs> what the? You don't know? I don't know. I sing for you. I sing for me. Okay. One, two, three. A happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Chashu. Happy birthday to you. From JC Bakery. JNC. JNC Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to try the cake? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, I just. Mm. <laughs> How is it? It's okay. Oh, nice. It's okay. Really, right? Okay. <laughs> Upon 10? Honestly, I'll give you a 10. <gasps> Actually, that's also because the chocolate ganache and his ganache is not a main one. <laughs> So I'm done for today and all the tasks today are not challenging or demanding but being able to do all of it every single day that is the challenge for me because I'm only doing it for a day but look at my face I'm really just tired and if you're doing it for business and you're making like big batches of cakes of brownies there's no room for error because you're wasting money you're wasting your time and effort I've always wanted to open my own cafe but after today I realised uh, maybe it's not for me you know and so I I really really admire Christy because having that responsibility and wanting to make this business successful for her parents is a very heartwarming feeling. I don't even know that family but I'm feeling J and C! <laughs> okay Zinia, now it's the end of your shift. Overall, I think you did pretty good. You are very creative even though there were not a lot of like ingredients in front of you. The cake, you were very focused. You want it to be really perfect so that takes a lot of time and energy mm. and you don't mind like spending that because you know that you want it the best. That is one thing that all chefs should be, you know, give your best to your customers. They do deserve the best. Yeah. yeah. For the third task, I think you did a pretty good job because you were quite funny and then you were very alert. You are not very impatient when you are trying to help them. Yeah, Chashu, yeah. do you hear that? <laughs> not impatient. <laughs> Thank you for the evaluation. I really had a lot of fun today and I really admire what you do. And now it boils down to the most important question of every episode. When I ask you the important question, you're gonna choose. You see properly first, don't give me the wrong one. Ah. <laughs> Would you hire or fire me? No, because I'll hire you for the cashiering. Oh. But I'll fire you as a baker. That means fire la! No, because my is... job scope is a baker. Oh, then I'll fire you. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw, I put F also. I think given a choice, it's something I know I will not excel in. No worries yeah. la, it takes time. Maybe, takes Maybe time, one next day. Time. Yeah. Yeah. But I cracked 15 eggs, no shell go inside. Eh. Sorry. Still fired. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching yet another episode of Hired or Fired. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and ding the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. I'll see you next time. Bye! What a beautiful box. You can see yourself. Hi! Hi! It's me! <laughs> <laughs>